What's up guys, it's Jude here. In one of my previous videos, I talked on six ways to end passive income in the crypto space. That is putting your idle cryptocurrency to work to generate more cryptocurrencies for you. Then in this video, I actually wanted to talk on staking, which is one of the ways to end passive income in the crypto space. Then I realized that I have not done any video on staking in this channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna explain what staking is and how proof of stake led to staking and how the difficulties in the proof of work mechanism led to the proof of stake mechanism then i'll give you some insights on some coins that you can actually stake to earn maximum income in 2021 so let's get to it now, Bitcoin is the first cryptocurrency and also the first cryptocurrency to use the proof of work mechanism so i'll be using Bitcoin to explain the proof of work mechanism let's say i send one Bitcoin to you at least one Bitcoin is going from my wallet to your wallet after some minutes, you will see that the transaction has received one confirmation. Now, before this one confirmation, the Bitcoin I sent to you is in what we call the unconfirmed pool. Now, in the unconfirmed pool, miners have to use powerful computers to validate that the transaction is real. That is, I have one Bitcoin that I'm sending to you. Then they will order it in what is called a block and add it to the blockchain. To add a block to the blockchain, each miner have to compete to solve a mathematical equation. The first miner to get the equation correct will have the right to add the block to the blockchain. He will also earn a reward for doing this. Now this process takes about 10 minutes and repeats after every other 10 minutes. The mathematical question solved by these miners is a way that the network proves that work was done, hence the name proof of work. Now, the downside to this is that miners use powerful devices that consumes a lot of electrical energy to solve this mathematical equation. According to Cambridge Center for Alternative Finance, it is estimated that 110 terawatt hour of electricity is consumed each year by Bitcoin miners. This is approximately the power used by countries such as Malaysia or Sweden in a year. Some of this electricity is gotten from burning fossil fuel. This is why the CEO of Tesla, Elon Musk, said that Tesla will no longer accept Bitcoin for payments. Technically, he's saying that Bitcoin, as well as every other cryptocurrency that is using the proof of work mechanism, is contributing to global warming. 51% attack is when an individual or a group of persons or a mining pool controls more than 51% of the mining power of a blockchain network and thus can alter or disrupt that network. However, this has not happened to Bitcoin. Now, because of these problems, people have come up with different solutions to solve the problem that is facing the proof of work mechanism. And one of the solution is a proof of stake mechanism, which I'll be discussing right now. In proof of work mechanism, you need high mining power to be able to validate a transaction. But in proof of stake mechanism, you need to stick your coin, that is lock up your coin in the network to be able to validate a transaction. For proof of stake mechanism, miners, which are now called validators, and their reward solely from the transactional fee in that network. So in proof of stake mechanism, the energy consumption is greatly diminished. The transaction speed is quite fast. The transactional fee is low. Now the 51% attack still exists, but it comes at a great cost. If I want to engage in a 51% attack on the proof of stake network, it means that I have to own at least 51% of the total coins staked. So what happens is that if I then manipulate or alter the network, people may lose faith in the network, which will lead to the coin dropping, and I may end up losing the coins that I've staked in the network. So in this video, I've given you a summary of how the proof of stake and the proof of work mechanism works. And I believe you quite get it. Now, I said also that I'll be giving you insights on some coins that give the highest return in the proof of stake network. Now, they include BNB, Cardano, Solana, Polkadot. 
in my next video i'll be giving you more coins and i'll be showing you a step-by-step -step process of where and how to stick these coins so stay tuned for that so if you enjoy the information i shared in this video just give this video a like when you do so more persons get to see this video and it helps to grow this channel and it encourages me to make more awesome videos like this and if you have not subscribed to this channel and you're watching this video right now click on the sub button and subscribe and also click on the bell icon to get notified when i release awesome videos like this that said i will see you in the next video